Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michelle Bao. I'm Angela Chen. I'm Devin Yonke. I'm Aditi Rao. And I'm Emily Spiro. We're here today to talk about VIBE, the Vibration Isolation Box Enclosure. So vibration isolation technologies protect fragile equipment from vib vibrations caused by liftoff and re-entry of a spaceship. So our product, VIBE, addresses this issue by standardizing and simplifying the transportation of vibration-sensitive objects. Con consider this scenario. An employee at a space agency is tasked to ensure that vibration-sensitive cargo is shipped safely to space. Current estimates indicate that it costs $10,000 to send one pound of cargo to the ISS. So you can imagine how important it is to protect this cargo during transportation. Designing vibration isolation systems is a time-consuming and costly process for each individual shipment. That's why it can take several months, if not years to complete, and there has to be a team of engineers behind every project like that. Our product, Vibe, was created to address this problem. The Vibe so simplifies this process by providing space agen agencies with a one standardized system that fits a wide range of cargo. Throughout the design process, we have received support from engineers at NASA Langley. Our current design is built for the single storage locker, seen here in front of me, uh, which is becoming the new standard for, for transporting cargo to and from space. Easily sliding out of the stowage locker, the Vibe provides a simple yet effective solution. It has three primary components. First, we have the interior cargo box. Then we have the vib vibration I isolators and then the exterior frame. At the core of our model is the inner box. This box, to, uh, to access the con contents of this box, simply open the box. Uh, any object under 15 kilograms that fits the dimensions of this box will be protected from vibrations. Additionally, wire rope isolators are our primary vibration isolation technology, connecting the frame to the inner box. These wire rope isolators, represented here in red, have many applications, allowing us to understand the full extent of their capabilities. By surrounding the inner box on three sides with these wire rope isolators, we can ensure that vibrations are efficiently and effectively uh, isolated, regardless of the box's orientation. The sturdy frame provides a structure to which the vibration isolators can mount onto. The frame itself is made out of four unique pieces, each of which is crafted out of, uh, of aluminum. The Vive aims to solve a specific problem that was, that was first brought to our attention through NASA Hunch. NASA Hunch is a student outreach program that provides students with an opportunity to create unique solutions to cur current problems facing NASA. Over the past six months, we have had significant progress in our prototyping. A few months ago, we got the chance to visit NASA Langley where we were able to talk to their engineers. After receiving their valuable feedback and doing further research, we've continued to evolve our project. Currently, we still maintain contact with these engineers in order to uh, be assured of the practicality and the usability of our product. Most recently, we've created a preliminary prototype which we have presented to you today. Although we have made major pro uh, progress we are, con we are keeping the future in mind. Currently, we've used funds from NASA to source material for our first functioning prototype. We want to finish assembling that functioning prototype by the end of May. We will then move on to testing using the vibration shaker tables at Langley Research Center and then present our progress at the Hunch end of the year event. Through this presentation, we will confirm the viability of our product and continue to receive NASA's support. From there, we will then expand our market to other space agencies, including SpaceX and Orbital Sciences. Here is a timeline of what we wish to accomplish in the next couple of years. First, we hope to conclude testing on Earth by the end of 2018, and on the ISS by the end of 2018. With the conclusion of the testing on the ISS by the end of 2018, this indicates the conclusion of our phase one, which is our research and development stage. After that, we plan to market the Vibe until about mid-2019. From there, we plan to start initial manufacturing of the Vibe around June of 2019, with distribution starting in 2020. 
During phase two, we will market the Vibe directly to space agencies, such as SpaceX and Blue Origin, who deliver cargo directly to the ISS. To minimize startup costs, we will contract our manufacturing. We estimate that the cost of our box would be $3,000, giving us a profit of $1,800 per box. Based on our current business model, we have estimated that the cost for the first year of operation will be approximately $40,000. To reach this estimate, we looked at the costs for various research facilities, prototype materials, files, uh, funds for filing for a patent, and also the funds that NASA Hunt has provided for us to use. As the space industry continues to commercialize, the need for things such as the vibration isolation box before you will arise. As the market demand grows, we will need your help and your resources in order to continue our research and development, especially money for patenting and materials. We are currently at the frontier of a new era of space exploration, so it is crucial that we continue to put funds into research and development, especially in the aerospace transportation industry. Know that investing in Vibe is protecting your future. So invest in your future today. Thank you.